Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Savannah Brito. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. The National Weather Service issued a freeze warning for the second morning in a row. This went in effect at 10 p.m. last night, and it will expire at 11 a.m. That's Eastern time for every single county south of here, pretty much south of Sullivan and west of Sullivan. That does include Vincennes area and Knox County, and this is just because vegetation growth is further along there. So if you do still have plants outdoors, bring them in. You should have already brought them in last night if you have the capability, if they're not actually in the ground outside, if they're in POTS. Definitely want to bring those in. Temperatures very cold this morning. They are below freezing level, below 30 degrees in every single spot. Check out Crawfordsville, 19 degrees there. Definitely cold, and there is a little bit of a wind chill making it feel even colder in some areas. So definitely have a light coat or jacket outside this morning. 24 in Terre Haute, 24 in Paris, 25 in Mattoon, 24 in Robinson. But here's the good news we will reach into the lower 50s today for Good Friday. So temperatures will improve somewhat. Winds this morning, not that big of an issue, not a big factor, but they will pick up as we get to Saturday and Sunday. Five miles per hour right now in Terre Haute, Calm and Mattoon, three miles per hour in Champaign, and then winds are also Calm and Robinson. We do have snow showers off to the east, still bringing a little bit of flurries to areas there, but all across the Wabash Valley, we're looking clear. We're starting our morning off with mostly sunny skies, and that's really how it's going to be over the next 48 hours. So Easter weekend is actually looking amazing this year. We're not talking about really even any clouds. Temperatures do improve today somewhat from where we are yesterday. And then as we get into Saturday and Sunday, temperatures will improve even more. We're talking about 60s Saturday, and then believe it or not, lower 70s on Easter Sunday. So it's looking good. Winds, though, are going to be the only factor really out of the weekend. No precipitation, but they will pick up out of the south. This is tomorrow afternoon about 3 p.m., so these are sustained winds up to 20 miles per hour. But they will switch directions out of the southwest, so that's what's going to keep us warm. But wind gusts are going to be around 35 miles per hour, 40 at the most during the weekend. But then as we get into Easter Sunday morning, this is about 6 a.m. They do die down a little bit, but still are going to be out of the southwest. That's what's going to really warm us up this weekend and really next week. Next chance for precipitation, we're not talking about until Wednesday, really. This is the next best chance, 11 p.m. And these showers kind of look to wrap around and linger. Some of these could be stronger at times as well. And then by 6 a.m. on Friday, still dealing with a little bit of rain, but as, as long as this weekend goes for Easter weekend. And as we start our week next week, we're talking about dry conditions, but we could turn active as we get into mid to a late week next week, but the cooler temperatures only here for today, and really we're going to be a little bit better compared to yesterday. And then out of the next several, the greens and yellows move back in, so it's going to be warm. 51 degrees is the high today. A little bit warmer compared to we were, we were sitting yesterday for Thursday. Sunny skies today. The winds will be shift directions out of the south this afternoon. 32, so a low at freezing level. Clear skies, but not as cold compared to what we woke up with yesterday. That's for tonight, so we are definitely need a jacket to head out the door this morning. But check out our Easter forecast, 71 degrees. It's going to be a pleasant day. And really out of the next several days, temperatures are going to start improving starting today, but then next chance for rain doesn't come around till Wednesday. So if you can make any outdoor plans for Easter weekend, it is looking good to do so.